hello guys welcome again uh, today we are going to do another excel activity today we're focusing on a short activity on uh, the formula count if you know we're going to have a spreadsheet where there is a list of or a table of items and then if we find a particular element we need to be able to count those elements only focusing on those elements using count if formula let us start Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, continuation of the question paper for 2023, I think it's in May, June. Okay, uh, we're going to, now today we're going to do this question. It's a very short question. Uh, we're going to do F. So they're saying determine the number of double rooms uh, booked in May. Okay, so which means, which formula are you going to use? Is they say determine the number of double rooms that were booked in May. Let us go and look at our spreadsheet now. Okay, here's our spreadsheet. So they are saying we should, we should determine the number of extra double rooms that were booked in May from this list here. We need to, to we need the computer to tell us how many double rooms were booked. Remember, in a big organization, you don't have time to be counting things one by one because in large organization, this spreadsheet can go into like thousands and thousands of, of, of double rooms. So it may not look small like this in a real business and environment. So we have to use formulas to help us. We need to allow the computer to help us so that we don't have to like work hard manually counting pages and pages of items. So which formula are we gonna use? We are going to use, uh, we are going to put our answer in this uh, cell here cell here and then they say we are going to use a formula which formula let us go into which for ch check which formula we're going to use uh, we're going to go into mm, uh, uh, more functions here and under more functions we got statisticals statistical so we must remember where to find these formulas because most students think all the formulas are under logical so you have to go statistical and then you, you, you scroll down and you're going to find count if now why do we use count if because you are counting if you find that thing if that thing exists there then you have to add how many of those things that exist there are are in the list so we're going to use count if where so firstly i have to select i've selected the cell where the answer should be and then i'm going to click on count if and on the count if it gives us two options we have to select the range under which the the, the system must search so we wanted to search on this list here we are going to click from the first cell where, where i wanted to search click hold and select all in the range to cover all of them and then now the system knows that it must look for an item in this area and then from there i must now type in what i'm looking for remember you have to type it correctly according to the correct spelling so we are looking for extra double extra double room if it's rooms type rooms this one i typed room so i'm gonna type extra double room then we click ok then it tells us the extra double rooms in may that we booked were only two so if you can look there it's only two so the system is correct if you double click there it shows you the formula is count if the range and then in uh, inverted commas you got the name or the uh, the item that we are looking for then you close the bracket so in case you are not using the formulas and you want to type the formula yourself you need to also know how to how to correctly uh, 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 type the the, the, the the formula remember when you are looking for text i said you always put it in inverted commas so we can see now it gave us the answer count if uh, it says there are two double rooms uh, in, in uh, there are two double rooms that were booked in may thanks very much for watching now we're gonna do counter we're gonna do another one counter i'm just gonna post this one so i, I do them base by base so that they are not heavy on your data thank you